Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot Ooh, reading. That's stuck to my hand. I just put hand cream on. For Monday the 8th, 2018. Um, Valentine joins us. She's just gone to sleep. Welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome back if you're already subscribing. I'm using the Mythic Tarot today and I want to say hello to everyone who is in America and Canada and anywhere else actually where it's really cold because I've been seeing this on the news. It's been on the BBC News, particularly um, New York. Oh my God. Yeah, we all know I'm rubbish. I feel pathetic now. I've got my Michael J. Fox gilet on. What do I know? God. Yeah, so I'm thinking of you guys out there and I think it's amazing that you're managing. Honestly, I do. And also, I want to say hello to Cassie and Katie of Sandstone Yoga. Ha ha. They sent me an email around Christmas time when it was all a bit mad and I had flu. And they were in a shop in Glastonbury Town. And they were purchasing the Aquarian Tarot. And it was the most cute email as well. So I just want to say, hello ladies, Sandstone Yoga. Go and visit it. It looks really good. And uh, thank you very much. It was a really cool email. Right. Daily reading, all astrological signs. <laughs> Pretty soon, 2018 readings will be up for each astrological sign. Ooh, what an interesting bunch of cards. Hmm. I feel like we're kicking off this week with some kind of writing of a wrong. This happens more often than you would think as well. We have justice here. And in this particular tarot set, the justice card is Athene with her sword and her wise owl and the helmet. Now the helmet is because Athene was the goddess of sort of strategy in battle, intellectual strategy rather than just brute force on the battlefield. So that's why more often than not, when you see pictures of her, she will, there will be some kind of headgear to indicate that. I'm pretty sure she was born out of Zeus's head or something as well. Something like that. There was some kind of skull cracking Greek myth thing going on. But more importantly for us, Major Arcana Justice. It's a card of karma for me. This is some karma recalibrating, readjusting itself because we have it with the Ace of Swords, the same character of Athene wielding the sword. Here she's kind of thinking about it in terms of the strategy and whatnot and here she's putting it into action. Ace of Swords as well is a beginning of clarity, a beginning of the kind of clarity that lets you know what you don't want anymore and what perhaps you would like to let in by cutting it out. I like it, it's very decisive and to have justice with it in the background as well lends a certain karmic je ne sais quoi to it. Nice. For some of us, it won't be for all of us, this is to do with matters that cropped up during Mercury retrograde, dare I even say those words, in December. Crossing me leg. Because we've got the Six of Cups in reverse. And for the Six of Cups in reverse, I'm getting that Mercury retrograde vibe. I've got a bit of hair that is really annoying me. That's better. And getting that retrograde vibe, very few of us, this can be a person that reappeared. Six of Cups in reverse is often somebody coming into your life from the past, whatever that is, friendship, Facebook, family, popping up in some form, whether that's in person, in writing, you know, or on social media or however people communicate these days, which is millions of different ways. If that's the case with you, I feel like this week, starting on Monday, there's going to be a strong message sent out by you. 
to people, places, <coughs> institutions, situations. I'm kind of getting the word zero tolerance, which I actually quite like. Because we also have the nine of wands and the nine of wands is a card of self-defense. You can see here that they're putting up defenses against ships so that nobody can get to them. Sometimes, often actually, the nine of wands is a very healthy card. So I like it. This is a healthy clarity. Now, somewhere in the midst of this, the person or the institution that you're dealing with and this is an air sign card and Aquarius, which is an air sign, does represent institutions, groups of people or Aquarians. I feel like they're not going to be clear as to why you're doing this, but that doesn't really matter because it's the never apologize, never explain scenario. Athene, in or out of her chair with her big sword, her wise owl, and her massive hat, plume, headgear thing, which, you know, could be seen as a battle tiara. I think we all know my thoughts and feelings about tiaras. I love them. Athene does not apologise or explain. People just have to fall in line. And it's the Mark Twain thing. We're going for quote central today. Um, people take you at your own recommendation. Your own recommendation is whatever it is that you need to sever. I like it. It's very clear and you will be rewarded. Ten of Pentacles. There are tangible things to be had. This will either cause an increase in income, reputation, because the Earth Sign cards are about reputation as well, or stature at work, or just respect. Nice. Let me grab an Oracle card. I was doing a private reading the other day and I've got this really ugly slipper thing. I'll show you, hang on. This is horrendous. <laughs> Definitely uh, pulling away the curtain here. Right. This is my boot. <laughs> because I'm such a coldie and I know I'm not supposed to mention it because you're all in much colder temperatures than I am. I put my feet in the heated boot. See, I've put them back in the heated boot now. But I reached for something out of my tarot cupboard doing a private reading and I could see the whole of me because my feet were stuck together. It just went, Mew. <laughs> yeah, much scrabbling, very professional, very professional. If you want a private reading, by the way, you can book in my description box for such professional things as that. <laughs> ah. Ooh. Ooh, yes. We get co-create. I like co-create. Now look, look who's on there. It looks like a telephone wire. You know when you get those telephone wires, and I don't know if you do actually, but there's one outside my window, and sometimes you get a row of birds on them, and the wire goes like that, and all the birds go like that with it, like little nodding dogs. So I'm kind of imagining that owl doing that which was not Colette Baron, Colette, I have a real issue with her name, Colette Baron Reed's intention. Nevertheless, there's that owl again. This is wisdom. There is wisdom in cutting out. Also, what you say no to helps you to co-create. It helps you to bring things in. It clears the energy for good stuff. Let's have a healing with the angels. Oh, Oracle card and one is sticking out on its own. Celebration. Now we have a big, lovely, juicy full moon there. What this says to me is what you do in terms, we're talking here, weeding out the unwanted will help things to manifest towards the end of the month. We have a full moon lunar eclipse in Leo, 31st of January-ish, depending on where you are. So what you're doing now is what you're going to reap that's the word <laughs> so what you're going to reap at the end of the month that's not bad is it i like that so have a look check out your monthly reading for each star sign look out for your 2018 reading which is coming up that's a love and general reading 
I will be doing the mid-month love readings. I'm going to be a busy girl. If you want a private reading or to donate to the channel, you can do it in the description box. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.